guys, so today I just filmed a get ready with me. So I went ahead and did this kind of dramatic smoky eye. So it, and the reason I'm wearing a blazer is because I'm about to go to work. So if you want to see me get ready, then please keep watching. So first I'm going to start off by priming my face. I'm going to take my Benefit Professional and I'm just going to pat that everywhere where my pores are. Then I'm going to take my Tarte Clean Slate Poreless and just put that on the remainder of my face. Then I'm going to take my favorite foundation which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and I'm just going to paint that all over the middle of my face and blend it out from there. I'm just going to take my beauty blender and blend that out. Now I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20 and I'm just going to put that where I need coverage for my eyes and also on my eyelids as a primer. Then I'm going to take my MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter Pen in Light Boost and this doesn't add any coverage, it just adds a really pretty highlight to your face. I'm going to draw two triangles under my eyes a line down the bridge of my nose, the center of my forehead, and my chin to highlight. Rare. <laughs> Just gonna blend that out. Then I'm taking my Bare Minerals powder in Well Rested, and I'm just going to pat that under my eyes and also on my eyelids. Now I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Translucent Powder and I'm just going to pat that mainly in my T-zone. Now I'm taking my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I'm just going to contour the hollows of my cheeks really quick and also the my um, temples. <laughs> Now I'm going to take my MAC blush in Warm Soul. And I'm just going to put this on the highest points of my cheeks. Now I do a weird dance. <laughs> and I'm taking my MAC highlighter in Light Skippy. Yeah. And I'm going to just I'm just going to put that on the highest points of my cheeks, or on the highest points of my cheekbones, sorry. Now I'm blending everything together. You want to make sure everything looks not harsh and blended together. Now here I'm brushing my eyebrows, but my eyebrow clip got deleted, so I'm so sorry about that, but yes, I just filled them in with my brow pomade. Now starting with the eyes, I'm doing naked two on above my crease a little bit and then I'm going to take ambush right here and I'm just going to define my crease a little bit more. Then I'm going to blend that out and I'm just going to keep repeating that process. Now I'm taking the color Faint from my Naked Basics palette and I'm just defining it even more. Now I'm 
taking my next Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm just going to pat that all over both lids. Then I'm taking the color Foxy from my Naked Basics palette and I'm just putting that everywhere where I put the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Now I'm just blending all those colors together. Now I'm taking this berry color from this Ulta palette and I'm just putting that on in the inner corners. Then of course I'm going to blend that out. The trick to this eye is lots of blending and adding on and then blending some more. Now I'm taking this black shade and I'm defining the crease even more. Now more blending of course. You want to push it up, not so much down. Now I'm going to define the outer corner even more. And blend. Push that up. Now I'm taking Habit from my Vice 2 palette and I'm just going to swish this all under my lash line. Now I'm going to take this same black color that we used on the top and push that as close to the lash line as you can. We're going to take that same berry shade and we're going to blend out the black with that color. And now the color faint again and we're going to blend that also. We're just going to blend all three colors together to make that nice smoky look. Now I'm taking my Line Stiletto Eyeliner and I'm just going to line my top waterline, or not waterline, my top lid. And also draw a wing. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and I'm just going to tight line. I'm also going to put it on my waterline. Now here I'm just going to curl my lashes. Now I'm taking Maybelline The Rocket Mascara and I'm just going to put that on both lashes. Right here I'm just fixing my eyeliner, it got messed up because of the curling. Now I'm taking my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, it's so cute, and I'm just coating my bottom lashes in that. Now I'm taking the Rocket and just going over that to blend more. Now I'm taking my Stilla Eyeshadow in Kitten, and I'm just going to put that on both inner corners. And then I'm going to blend it out. Now I'm taking this nude lipstick. I don't know what brand it is. And I'm just going to put that all over my lips. Then I'm going to take this Ulta Shiny Lip Gloss. And it's just a berry shade to match my eyes. And I'm just going to put that all over my lips as well. Now for a little dance, of course. And this is the finished makeup. Now it's time for my hair. Of course I am dancing. I dance a lot when I get ready, as you can tell. And I'm just going to take my hair down and brush it out. Then I'm taking my dry shampoo and it has a hint of color in it and I'm just putting that all in my roots and then mixing it around in my hair. Then I'm going to brush that out. 
Now for my hair, I'm just going to put it in a bun. I really didn't want to fix it that day. And I'm just fixing it. Now I'm going to take some pins and place it all in place. Now I'm taking my gold headband and putting that on. And it's pretty much done. Now for my outfit, I just wore these booties. They are from Burlington. They're little fringe booties. And I'm wearing it with this gold feathered necklace I got from Dillard's. For my dress, I'm just wearing this burgundy dress with black crosses. And I just threw on a black blazer because I was going to work. Thank you so much for watching. I'm done. Bye, guys.